and welcome back to Dragon Professional Individual. I'm now looking at the commands option. I've done two previous videos on Auto Text and Macro Recorder. Next is step by step and after this video I'll do another one on advanced scripting. They will have their benefits and some of their negatives but at the end of the day it depends on how you want to use it and what tasks you want it to do for you. So let's get straight into it and come to the top and select tools and select add new command. When a window opens up, you choose a command first. Now I'm going to come down to command time first and I want to select step by step as that's what we'll be working with. Now you can put a command name in, so whatever command name you have here will execute the command for you. You can give that command a description and choose which group you want to put that in. Also you can change the name down here. So you can have different folders, different groups for commands. Just to keep them all together so you can work with them. Next is whether you want it to work globally, the command. So wherever you are and you say the command it will work. Or you might want it to work application specific. For example, let's go into MindJet, open that. So you only want the command to work in MindJet, nowhere else. So wherever you are, it only work in MindJet. You can go Windows specific, so it only works in MindJet in a specific window or folder that you've saved. So you can really organize those commands. But I want it to work globally. Down at the bottom, you add your keystrokes. So for example, Control C or control A or control V and so on to create commands. Open an application, choose which application you want to open, be it Word, Excel, Photoshop. Wait, pull and command. You need to wait, for example, if Word or Photoshop's open and it could take eight to ten seconds to open. So you're gonna need a wait command before you can execute the next command after that. But you can play around with that later on the times and that to get that right. What formatted text you want? Also send keys. So, uh, give you an example, with keystrokes you might want to do tab 10 times. So that would be 10 separate commands tab. With this send keys you could do open curly bracket, tab, new more 10 or just put 10 in, close curly bracket and that would do the 10 tabs for you in one rather than separate. You can have the microphone stop listening once you've executed the command or you can leave the microphone on so Dragon can still hear you or have the microphone turned completely off. So I'm going to keystrokes. So the first thing I want to do actually is add an application, don't I? So I'm going to need open application. Click insert. Now what application do I want to use? I'm going to come down to Word as that's available at the moment. Do a right click and do a right click on the shortcut and left click properties. I'm looking for the actual path. So I'm going to control C the path. And now I can paste in here, control next argument. Now you can use this for a number of methods. For example, you might want an Excel file opened up with a specific pie chart or tables. Or be it Photoshop, you want another application to open or program with that. Or I'll give you an example. So Word's going to open. I'm going to go on the internet. So I want to work on this PDF. I'm going to copy the link and put that into my arguments. Control V. So when Microsoft Word opens it, it will automatically import that PDF into Word for me ready to edit. So now I can copy, paste, highlight and do what I want. Again, play around with that and see how it would be useful for you to use. Well, I want it to actually start in, so I'm going to leave that blank. I want it to start anywhere. And normal, I want it maximised, so the window's maximised. Click OK. I've got my first command set up. Now, I'm not putting a second command in yet, but I'm going to add it automatically wait. Because I'm now going to have to wait. Because Word will take about 8 to 10 seconds to open up. To input that PDF as well could take a while. So every thousandth of a millisecond is a second, so I've got two and a half seconds there, click OK. But I want more than that, I'm going to copy, paste, 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 I'm going to do ten seconds. I can delete that later or change it. Now I need to give it a name at the top, I'm going to call this Word Magic. And the description is going to be Import PDF from Web. The group I want it in, I'm going to leave it user defined, or I could choose a group and change the name down here. Click save. So give it a go. Wake up. Words magic. Go to sleep. There you go, it's important that PDF for me, ready to edit. And now I can choose what I want to do with that. Now I can start adding more commands and shortcuts. So now I could do a quick command to play about with this. Say I want to go down quite a few paragraphs. So 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21, 22. So I could do a down command with 22. And then I could highlight what I want, then copy that or cut it out and paste it. So what we'll do is come back up the top, go to Tools, and click Manage Custom Commands. Open up a command, which is Word Magic. So we can carry on working on it. So I'm going to click underneath. So once I'm in that document, I want to go down 22 times. Now I could go keystroke, insert, down, and keep doing it that way. But an easier way. Go to send keys, click insert, remember what I said, a curly bracket, down, 22, close curly bracket. So that will go down where I want. So underneath, I'm now there, I might want to highlight stuff now. So now I can use the command, if I come back up to keystrokes, insert, which is control shift and down. And that will highlight my line or paragraph. Click OK. I can copy it or cut it, so I'm just going to go Control c to copy. Once I've copied it, I'm going to insert another command. I want to highlight everything, Control a click OK. Again, another keystroke, and I want to delete the rest, so I press the Delete key. Right, so see what we get. Close everything. Wake up. Word magic. go to sleep and now I'm ready to paste the text I want and then I can edit it and do what I want with it so let's do next I'm going to do control V and then I can change the font size if I want or maybe I want to add a picture so I come back up to the commands option tools select manage custom commands double tap word magic and carry on building your commands so now I've deleted everything I want to paste keystroke insert Control V will paste. Now I've got my text. Insert again on keystroke. I want to highlight all Control A. Click OK. So I've now got that text highlighted. Now I've got this side coming up to here. How do I get up to here? Look. So I've got a shortcut key, Control Shift and P. So I'll click Control Shift and P. It brings up this window. And I'm already on size. So then I could put a number in, couldn't I? 20 and then click the enter key and it does it for me so that all makes sense should we give that a go so open up your command again tools manage custom commands click the edit key if you want that way so after I've highlighted it I want a shortcut key so I'm going to click keystrokes control shift and P that will take me up to my font size next I'm going to add in type text because I want a number. Insert a number was 20. So once it opens I to put 20 in and then I can use the enter key which will be keystroke to set the text for me. Should give that a go. Wake up. Word magic. go to sleep. See how easy that is to work and just build up commands using shortcuts. If you're looking for specific stuff for the top of the ribbon then you could use the alt command. When it's highlighted if I hover over highlight option there's no shortcut key for it is there? Which is a bit of a pain but not to worry because then we can use another command which will be alt h and then you can see the command for that would be i. Should we give it a go? So go back to your command option again. Leave the Word document open because you need to work off it to get your commands in as well. Open up Word Magic. So now I've clicked Enter. I'm going to make sure it's highlighted again. So I'm going to click Control A. Click OK. Now I need that command with Alt, don't I? So it was Alt H. Brings it up. So click Insert. Alt H. So come back in here and actually do it. Alt H in your Word document. 
Once I've done that, I'll need a letter I. Click underneath. This time I need text. And I need I in there. Click OK. And it should now highlight it for us. We'll give it a go. Wake up. Word magic. go to sleep. Now I need to choose a colour. Now how do I move the colours? Well I can use the cursor key. Let me show you. If I move down, so I could go down one, right three. I could go down one, right four. One, two, three, four. By using the option of same keys. So let's do, let's do red so it will be down arrow twice, one, two. So again, come up to the top, select properties, manage custom commands, open up Word Magic, come back down, and we need that command, don't we? Now we could do keystroke, but I'm just going to do send keys, insert. So curly bracket, down, two, close curly bracket, and that should now cover it for me and once that's done I can use the command again just to click enter to close it so I'll click the enter key on keystrokes click save and let's give it a blast wake up word magic go to sleep. So you see it's quite endless to use the step by step option of creating commands and carrying out tasks for you to save you time. Well last of all I'm going to come back up and go back to your command option. So manage custom commands, double tap word magic. I'm going to come down here, I'm going to use an option here where it says a microphone off. So I can choose when to turn the microphone off. So I'm going to click up here, after my first command I want the microphone off as so because I don't want it picking up so I'm going to click insert so I'm going to click on that and then use the down arrow to move it but when it's finished at the end I want it to come back on again so I'm going to select the microphone on click insert again make sure it's at the bottom so now the microphone should turn off after the first command and then turn back on at the end let's give it a go again wake up word magic go to sleep. And you see how powerful that is, it gives you total control. There's some bases to get you up and running on step by step. I'll do a video in the future on advanced scripting, it's so much better, you can organise things better and also create better commands. Thanks for watching.